Hi there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. On this video, let's talk about Replicate and how to use it and basically how to get started. If you're hearing about Replicate from other creators, from other websites or your workers or your friends, and you're really concerned on how it works. So in this video, I'm going to go step by step, basically telling you first on what is Replicate, how it works, how to sign up an account, and the basic ropes to get you started, okay? Just basically the beginner things that you need to do and need to know to get started. And along the way, once you use this one from day to day or weekly, personally, you're going to get hang of it. So let's get started. Now, this is going to be the website itself. So they call it Replicate Run with AI or API. That's why it's called Replicate. So what is technically Replicate? So Replicate is going to be a platform that lets developers and creators run machine learning models in the cloud with a simple API. That's going to be a simple API, all right? In the cloud with a simple API, no need to set up complex environments. It is commonly used for AI tests like image generation, text generation, video creation, upscaling, and more. If you're familiar with ChatGPT, you're familiar with Midjourney, Leonardo, and the other video and image generation tool out there, even DALI 3, this is going to be a new one. Where it's going to be like those guys right there, However, this is a bit more advanced and user-friendly. And I'm going to tell you the best thing about this one later on that I love personally. So let's talk about the pros and cons quickly here before we create an account. So the pros, no setup required. Not unlike any other training models, there's not going to be complex data solutions. I know you're seeing some codes here, but don't be afraid for this ones. They're just going to be a training model, so we're not going to use those. Next up, the pros is going to be supports many A models. Access community train models like Stable Diffusion, Llama, Whisper, etc. It has an easy API access. Simple endpoints for using models and APIs, of course, workflows. Also, it's collaborative, open source, and community driven. So, right now, I'm going to show you how powerful this is. If I type in here Reddit, and I'm in here, I'm going to type in here Replicate. So, about that, that will be Replicate AI. And it has, it has its own community. As you can see right here, it has a very good community. All right. Now, what are going to be the cons here? I only have three. So the first thing is going to be limited free usage. Credits run out fast and usage can become expensive. I know that it's going to be expensive for you guys, but I'm going to tell you why it's worth it. Number two, model speed depends on hardware. It's not going to be depending on your plan, but depends on your hardware. Some models may be slow or cute. For example, depending on your computer, it depends on how fast you generate your image or video. So here are going to be the sample videos and images. For example, paint with AI, emojis, autonomous robots, never going to give you up, language model, and the works. Lastly, what's the con? Requires basic coding knowledge for API uses. So if you're not going to use API, don't be afraid of coding. If you're only going to use image generation, video, and text, then let's get started later on. Now, before again, because I'm going to tell you why I love this one, let's create an account first. So to create an account for this one, simply click on sign in. Let's check on the pricing here. These are going to be the prices on the Replicate. And this is why I love this one. There is no subscription plan. You heard me right. There is no subscription plan for this one. They will only charge you on each of the models you use. For example, these are going to be the most major and most famous models. Flux 1, Flux Dev, Google VO2, Recraft, Edigram, and the works. These are going to be $0.09 for output image. Output image is $0.04 depending on your uses. These are going to be the hardware pricing. And as you can see right there, Yes, it's expensive, but it's going to be worth it because there is no monthly payment. It's going to be depending on your control. And of course, there's going to be from free trials here, some free tokens moving forward. So I'm going to create an account here. Let me just click on sign in. And as you can see right there, it can sign in using GitHub. So if you don't have a GitHub, don't worry about it. It's going to be this one right here. Basically, log it in, open it up. And click on signing with Gipper right there so it will read your GitHub, authorize replicate, and you'll be good to go. Just wait for it. 
and this is going to be the dummy email address I'm using for this one. I'm just going to set it and I'm just going to answer these questions to tailor fit my uses. This is going to be also asked on you guys. So what best describes how you're intending to use Replicate? Of course, for personal, I'm going to use the former for Python and Go Elixir. I'm going to go for Python. Sorry about that. What are you going to use Replicate for? I'm going to use this one on generation images. So this is going to be none of the above. I'm going to go for other. So where did you learn about Replicate? I'm going to go for YouTube. And I'm not interested in prestigiousing and user research. By the way, guys, you can skip that one if you don't like. But I'm going to go straightly on my dashboard right there. So this is how it should look like. All right. It has dashboard models, predictions, trainings, deployments, webhooks, tarps, support. Now for the support right here, it's going to be a ticket basis, not a call, not a chat, but a ticket submission basis. Choose your account, the subject, the letter, and the works. Now, before getting started with everything, changing your profile picture before doing everything up, please set up your billing. I'm going to go straight forward for that one. And as you can see right there, this is the billing option. So set it up right here. It will redirect you on this platform where you can now enter your billing purposes. You can use card, bank, or basically PayPal for this one. Other than that, I'm not going to set it up right here because this is a dummy account. You can also set up your maximum cap limit for this one. For example, your monthly expenses should only be below $10. You can set it up here so you don't overspend on your budget. That's what I like about Replicate. Now, before moving forward, you can change your theme here. On the lower section, if you want it to be dark or light, I'm going to go for dark. Moving forward, under Explore, you can choose the models. For example, create a model of scale images. These are going to be the tasks that we are talking about earlier. Let me click on View All Models right there. In here, you're going to select and see the most famous models to generate images, videos, and the works. And by the way, guys, the most famous right now will be Google Image 4 and VU3. Under here, if you scroll down just a little bit, this part right here, this one right there, this is really helpful for beginners. If you want to generate images, they're going to see or give you some list of the best models to generate image with. So for example, models that generate images from text from Google Imagine 4, you're going to have it right here. Or click on the 56 more to have them right there. Pretty awesome, right? And if I go here, this is going to be Imagine 4. Just enter your prompt here, run it up, and basically you'll be good to go. As you can see, I've been grayed out. I cannot really type anything since I haven't set up my billing. Even though there's going to be some free trials here, it will still ask for your billing to be set up before moving forward. Take note about that one, alright? And these are going to be some really good images. Like, check this out. It looks really like a photo from a person. Especially this one right here. That's going to be imagined for for you. Alright? Let me just go back here. And this is really famous right now, really trending, where you can generate yourself in an animated version. So as you can see right there, even though this is free, there is a limit where you can generate some free images on this model. You really cannot enable or type in anything as of now, since you really need to manage your billing. That's the only thing that's I don't, that I don't like about this one. You know, it will not let you to generate free images as long as and, or until you haven't set up your building. So basically, that's how you do it. Be sure that you set up building first. So thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you on the next one. Goodbye for now.